pattern fills can apply interest to a design and offer a wide variety of possibilities. It is a decorative stitch that fills the object. Patterns are repeated in parallel rows to fill the shape. I can change the pattern by simply clicking on the pattern fill icon and the default pattern will fill the shape. To change from the default patterns and settings, open object properties and click on select. There are different pattern sets available and you can even create your own pattern set. This will be covered in a later video. Click on the drop down arrow by the default heirloom pattern set to choose the set you wish to work with. You can look at the patterns in true view by clicking on the red icon or you can view in design view by clicking on the pink icon. In addition, you can view just the patterns, a list of patterns, or the pattern with the name by clicking on the different squares at the top of the dialog box. Click on the pattern you wish to choose, and then click on OK, and then click on Apply, and the change is made. In Object Properties, you can change the size of the pattern, the column spacing, the row spacing, the offset, and the angle of the pattern. The change will not update the preview until it has been applied. And then the preview is updated along with the object. Alternating pattern fills will create a fill that has one pattern going across the object and an alternate pattern coming back across the object. The primary pattern is going to be chosen with the Select button in Object Properties. Again, choose the pattern set that you wish to use, and then choose the pattern that you wish to use. Click OK and click Apply. You'll want to change the row spacing before you add the alternate pattern. After you choose and alter your primary pattern, place a check mark by alternate pattern and click on select. I'm going to choose 738 in the heirloom category and I'll click on OK and apply. The combined patterns are going to be displayed in the preview window as well as the object itself will be changed.